Oh. Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Well, unfortunately for Melbourne supporters, it all came to a grinding halt, didn't it? The uh, unbeaten run, I guess it had to happen at some stage. Didn't have to happen, but it logically was going to happen. And it came at the expense of the Adelaide Crows. It was one of the games of the year, TJ. Like, it was a captivating game of footy. Ebbs and flows, both teams having an absolute crack. And joining us is the vice-captain from the Adelaide Football Club. Was solid again yesterday. Very good performance. Tom Duday is his name. Tom, thanks for your time, mate. Congratulations. What a performance. Thanks, Kane. Yeah, it was a uh, it was one of those games where we went into it with a mindset of uh, not necessarily no one was given a chance, but that if we uh, brought it for four quarters, we could get the job done and, uh, yeah, found a way. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Big moments late. Tex was clutch with his two goals. We've spoken about that. I'm interested in your planning, though, coming into the game. It seemed to be a real focus to not allow Lever and May to intercept the ball in their back 50. You evened up the numbers there. And also, when you got the footy, you really challenged them with your ball movement. Yeah, we know from a like, footy X's and O's perspective, they're very much inclined to get their midfielders back. Um, that allows Lever and uh, May to roll off and, and intercept the ball. So our mindset was to try and chip the ball and use it around a little bit. And then if we can attack the last line, make sure that those guys can't get a jump at it. So uh, I thought we did it well for four quarters, which is probably the difference between the last couple of weeks, the ability just to compete for all four quarters. Just seeing the emotion, Matthew Nix in the box, the players, take us inside that moment where the siren goes. It was pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, well, it was about a final minute, I reckon. We were in that pocket and there was a couple of repeat stoppages. It was, it was sort of, please don't let them get one. But uh, now, once the siren went, it was just pure elation. And we just, I don't know, we worked so hard the last couple of weeks to get a win and, and for it to come through the way it did was just uh, an unbelievable feeling for, for everyone involved. And the crowd was electric too. So you put all that together and yeah, it was a great feeling. Tom, was it hard in the mouth for, for you and others around you when that ball went over the boundary line very, very late in the piece? No, I was... Uh, are, you, are you talking about the Nick Murray handball? Yes. Yeah. No, I was right there. I don't know what you're talking about. I was, uh, <laughs> I was ready, to, ready to take it. It wasn't deliberate. Um, yeah, no, we, we, uh, we looked at that and really? Nick Murray, obviously, he, he, made a good, uh, he made a good decision to handball it to a, a particular spot and I was right there and ready to did take you, it if it did you call for it? Did you, did you call for it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was right there. Yeah, you, you see it on the vision, mate. I was well, right there. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at the vision there. Context uh, on this. Yeah. A bit of and can we? Shake there from, no, I, I, we well. need to see Tom again. Tom, can we just have a look at Tom and just uh, can oh, you yeah. take us through the process again of when you called for the handball, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, TJ. If you if you look at the vision, I'm uh, I'm on his right, and the, the ball as it's going towards the uh, boundary, I'm uh, I'm right there, ready to clean up and go. But oh, uh, he's convinced me. The ball bounced yeah. by. I want to have a look. Convince me, Tom. I want to have a look. No, I'm with Tom. Oh, I'm not I'm sure it's the defence. The fact that you've called for. I'm not sure that, that's one of the defences with deliberate. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. No, no, this well, is no, the holding the ball no, on, on keys, and then I knew you wouldn't agree. I knew you wouldn't agree with this, Kane. No, well, not many do. This is the Benny keys. And this is the keys. Let's look at. The Murray one. Where's Tom? Where's Tom? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, Tommy. You've got the shepherd. No, Tom. actually, I'm off it again. No, Tom, you're on the shepherd. He was going to have to be oh, Greg Williams to get that. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. What are you doing over there? I don't know, but I'm in awe of you, Tom. That uh, that is a good set of teeth. <laughs> As I said, mate, you, coming from you, that's a big honour. I appreciate that. Uh, Chompers, him, Chompers himself saying it. It's a massive honour. <laughs> Tell us about Benny Keys and what a revelation he's been. Oh, he's huge yesterday. Big numbers and now hitting the scoreboard with a couple of goals. Yeah, he's been massive for us since he got here last year. And um, he's just an incredible hard worker. And we, we sort of took the mickey out of him. He got a two-page spread in the paper last... Uh, it was yesterday, actually, game day. We were sort of taking the mickey out of him, but... For him to come up and stand up in such a massive game, he's been massive for us this year. And, and last year, he sort of held strong in the, in the midfield, but probably just didn't get the results going away. And this year, he's starting to uh, sort of see personally the results that he's put in. That, that hard work to be able to impact the scoreboard, but also have a lot of touches and impact the game. And it's, he's incredibly crucial for us. What about yourself, Thomas? The you own form? Happy with that? It's been good, Bill. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I, I feel like I've done a, two or three good things a game in terms yep. of just actually, sorry, I had something pop up there. Um, I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to sort of do my role, but also roll off an intercept like I, I feel like I can do. And uh, the, the thing, the thing with Melbourne in a couple of these clips you can see is our ability to shift the ball. And that's something I'm trying to add to my game, that, that offensive element. And uh, I feel like I've, I've been fitting in perfectly and um, this young back line's really starting to gel. And, 
Uh, easy group to play with, to be honest, Bill. We, uh, there's not much arguing going on down there. We, we know what we need to do. And Jordan Buss has been great. Nick Murray come in, played well. Brody Smith, look, everyone's just jelling. So it's, a, uh, it's an easy group to slide into. Uh, well Tom, you, you're out of contract. It's round 10. What's the hold-up? Oh, back to Geelong. <laughs> back to the uh the, the more mate I'll be there. Oh. um no we're uh we're just uh figuring out the the minor details at the moment but very close kane so hopefully that gets done in the in the coming weeks and and we can announce it but um nowhere else i'd rather be especially after a win like that the atmosphere this this young group and what we're building uh nowhere i'd rather be so hopefully that gets sorted in a couple of weeks and i can uh yeah, it can go public and then we can uh, celebrate it. Good news Good for Adelaide you. fans. Yeah. Let's take a look at the votes, Lord O, because Clayton Oliver, you mentioned... Still on my votes too now, this segment. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Clayton Oliver gets the nine <laughs> votes. I, uh, I did the votes oh, for this game. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> I'm oh. giving up the season oh. as well. We're at 35. <laughs> Two days. Oh. We mentioned and Christian Petrarca. Tex Walker, what about Texan? Uh, he was good for moments and since oh. the moment. But 48 oh. Texan in. Oh. His votes. Yeah. I'm not sure he would have. vote for kicking a goal? Oh, I'm not sure he would have. I, I'm not sure he could have knocked out any of those four players, but he was good. Tom, does Tex ever mention Kane at all in the dispatches around the club? <laughs> nah, nah, never heard of him. Doesn't, doesn't <laughs> now, what, what, Tom, you, uh, we were chatting to you in the ad break, and then uh, looking at you on air there, you're a walk-up media performer there. Uh, five double A. What's that? Will and Pembo do the brekkie show, don't they? And uh, you've slotted in very yep. nicely. Correct. Yeah, yeah, no, they're unbelievable. I, uh, they're, they're, they're crows men, but they're also just inclined to just have a bit of a chit-chat about footy. And I love my movies. They always ask me about movies to finish the radio show. So it's not something that I uh, go in going, I hope they don't ask me about a loss. I hope they don't ask me about this. And uh, My favourite movie of all time is Snatch, the Guy Ritchie, 2000 yeah. movie. But uh, best movie I've ever seen. I, I like to say, if I want to sound a bit uh, like a movie buff, is Godfather Part 2. So oh, I sort of oh. have that, that what, balance what between with, comedy and a bit of like a... What was wrong with Godfather you know, Part 1? The original. No, no, I just, I just think 2 is a uh, more well-put-together movie. In like Jaws? Did you get me, TJ? Yeah, I got you, mate. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. All right, okay. Jaws is my All right Tom. Uh, mate, fascinating to talk to you. Well done on the win. And, uh, well, hopefully we can catch up again. Uh, you're a breath of fresh air from across the border. And yeah. it's been a long time since we've had someone from South Australia come. Um, <laughs> well, oh, yeah. a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back, good on guys. you, Tom. I appreciate it, gentlemen. Good on you, Tom. I right, appreciate thank it. Thank you very thank much. You. Tom Dudo joining us there good. from Adelaide. Good boy. Two very good. guests so far. I know. Great well, guest today. You were sitting here. I, you went in your shell then when we had Tom on because you're thinking nothing worse than interviewing your own replacement. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break. Soon, when we come back. <laughs>